What is good, everyone? This is your host, Deanna Radulescu, Label Free Podcast. To live your best life, you must live label free. As always, bring you incredible guests from all over the world. So sit back, relax, and tune in. My next guest is co founder of Riverbend Consulting, which solves problems for e commerce sellers. She is an author and also an Amazon seller expert. Please welcome Leslie Hensel. Leslie, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have you. And here's a thing that I'm sure most of my listeners out there know that we've really never talked about the Amazon seller like experience or option or resource, what what have you. And when we did our intro call, you had a very like a very um foundational reason why you started your Amazon business. I want to start there because I know the audience is gonna love to hear like how you became such an expert. So Tell us, like, what made you become an e-commerce business? So I am the classic mommypreneur story. Um, I have been a small business consultant for many years. I used to be one of those old school consultants, like who worked for an accounting firm kind of business consultant. <laughs> um, and then my husband and I had kids and I was consulting from home and really enjoying it. But it was like a full time job. You know, lots of client calls, lots of deadlines. Um, and then my older son, Austin, uh, he wasn't doing well in school. We took him to a specialist. He was diagnosed with autism and a whole bunch of learning disabilities and challenges. Uh, some you can't pronounce, too many to count. Yeah. And so we decided, you know, school is not working for this kid. We've got to really do something drastic. So we decided to homeschool him and do all kinds of therapy. Yeah. And that wasn't going to work with client calls and, you know, full time deadline oriented work. Uh, so I discovered selling on Amazon. And so my husband would go to his day job. And when he got home, he would watch the two boys. I would source inventory, find products to sell. And then on the weekend, as a family, we would pack up all of our inventory and ship it to the Amazon warehouse so they could pick and pack and ship our orders for us. And it was wonderful. It's hard work, especially that kind, that specific Amazon hustle. It's yeah. hard physical work and demanding. But for that season of our lives, it was amazing. I could focus on the kids and especially my special needs kid exclusively yeah. when he needed me but still have the money to pay for all these therapies and challenges that we had to put the bill for. Yeah. And when I love parents of autistic children because I feel like autistic children are like a gift because they do, they are, you know, I love the term that someone said before, and maybe I'm using this wrong, but neurodivergent, right? Isn't that yes. what you them? I like that word a lot much, much better because autistic has such a negative label to it. And there are so many people out there that, that have autism that are so special and have such incredible tools. And I'm like, I'm going to make myself cry <laughs> that, uh, you know, we tend to label that a certain way and, and like think negatively of it. When I really think that th those, those children and those people have been blessed with gifts that you and I will never have. So I think that's a beautiful thing. Now I know in our intro call, we talked about like how I was interested in doing the Amazon seller thing. And I found all these different programs that were highly expensive to take the class, to take this like workshop, to learn how to do it. Now I have sold something on Amazon before when I was uh, I had my skincare line and it was super easy to set up your business page and get the the product listed on there. But um, I wanted to do something different like sourcing inventory like yourself. And the, the cost for that was so incredibly high. I'm like, well, I'm trying to learn how to make more money, not spend more money, right? Cause I, I just didn't have it. You know, I was trying to find, find a way to supplement my income. And so what, what do you think about those different workshops out there that are charging six, $7,000 to learn how to do this? So these courses, y'all, if you just search Google or YouTube, especially, and put in how to learn to sell on Amazon, you find all these guys, most of them are men, and they are like driving their Lamborghini. And then they show their Lamborghini parked in front of their mansion that they rented. Uh, and they rented the Lamborghini too. And it might even have a, a beautiful woman, scantily clad, draped across the Lamborghini in front of the mansion. And she might have been rented for that purpose also uh, oh. because they're trying to convince you that, you know, you take my class and you're going to make 
millions of dollars and have a Lamborghini and you're hardly going to work. And a lot of the courses try and tell you it's a hand off, hands off business. You work five hours a week. Uh, so all that sounds too good to be true because it is. Um, a lot of those courses teach something and they'll call it an automated business or a drop shipping business it actually violates Amazon's policy. And if Amazon catches you doing it, you will not only lose your store, you will lose any money that is sitting in your Amazon business at the time they shut you down because uh, they don't like that drop shipping. It's essentially where you don't have any inventory, but you list right. products available on, say, Walmart.com and HomeDepot.com. And then when you sell it, uh, you fulfill it by shipping it from Home Depot to the customer. And so it's very confusing and upsetting to the customer because they get a box from Home Depot. They're like, I, I didn't buy anything from Home Depot. That's why Amazon doesn't like it. So the thing about these courses, they're super expensive. There are some legit classes and coaches out there, yeah. but there's a lot of free and inexpensive information that is available. And especially if you don't know that this is for you, it doesn't make sense to make that kind of investment. There are too many... Uh, free bits of information, groups, um, books, and individuals wow. who will talk to you. Uh, that's fine. just, it's a better way. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you, like when you first started out, I kind of want to talk about when you first started out selling products on Amazon and how you like, did you, were you able to scale it at all? Are you still selling on Amazon? Like what did that look like during that? Well, you said you mentioned the season of your life with your family. So when I started out, I started out how a lot of other sellers do. It was all retail arbitrage. So that's where you're going to local stores and you're finding products that you can sell for more on Amazon and you're just flipping goods. And we all see these stories in the media like every Christmas where people are flipping toys, for example, at yeah. Christmas. Um, that's a great way to start out because it's easy. It doesn't cost a lot. And as long as you stay away from high-end brands, you're usually going to be okay. Um, so I started out that way and then moved into wholesale, Okay, where I'm buying from wholesalers. I still do that regularly now. Okay, And I also have some exclusive deals with some local businesses. Oh, very cool. This is one of my favorite Amazon strategies, and it's something that not many sellers do. Okay. Um, so... You have a business park where you live because everyone does. The small businesses that manufacture things. You've got a chamber of commerce where you live. There are businesses that sell products through distributors or maybe retailers, but they don't sell online. And they would love to because it's an extra channel. Well, you can go and say, I want to be your exclusive rep on Amazon. Let me build your pages Give me your best wholesale rate on your product. Let me return things if they don't sell. Let's try it out. And a lot of them will say yes. And that is a great way to sell with lower competition on Amazon because not everyone else is buying these products from a catalog. It's it's local businesses. And the bonus is you're helping your local community, yeah. which to me is super exciting. It can make you a hero where you live. I love that. That is such a great idea. Oh, hi. It's your host, Deanna Radulescu with Label Free Podcast. I'm here to share an exciting opportunity with you. I've recently partnered with SecureVPN.io. They specialize in protecting your online activity, such as transactions, your online searches, your privacy protection, and it protects you from any data leakage from hackers out there that have access to your information. So please click the link in bio and take advantage of the special opportunity with securevpn.io. Again, this is your host, Deanna Radulescu with Label Free Podcast. To live your best life, you must live label free. So no, I, I'm, not, I'm sure you've heard of this with some of the people that sell on Amazon. I get offered free products all the time on social media. So my one personal page, I do a lot of reviews on the products I get for free and I love it because it's like stuff all fits within my lifestyle. I get it for free. But in exchange, I have to do a review on Amazon for them, which helps with obviously their, it's, I guess, like kind of, they consider it more like advertising. It helps, like, does it, I don't know how that works, but I take it. I'm like, sure. They send me the money to buy it through PayPal. I buy it and then I review it and I use it. And then, you know, I on to the next one. Okay. I'm about to make you very sad. Okay. Oh, that's so. Technically, that violates Amazon's terms of service 
Um, so Amazon does not like it when people give away products for free and ask for reviews. The reason is because you're predisposed to give a better review because they gave you the product for free. So a not lot me. of brand, not a me. lot. Hey, that's great that you don't do that. Um, I mean, not because, to be the one person they, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, but uh, they asked me to change my review and I, and I just said, I can't do it because I didn't like the product. Good for you uh, because most people will. And, and that's, that's why it's problematic. So, so Amazon doesn't catch a lot of this. It's hard to catch it. Um, a lot of people, I'm sure you may have received like a postcard in the mail or a letter in the mail. When you bought an Amazon product and someone says, scan the QR code, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can get one for free. Um, and all of that is against terms of service, but it happens all over the uh -huh. place. And it's because reviews are so important yeah. and hard to get. Yeah. I don't mind. I mean, it's it it's, can be tedious, but I love getting the, the stuff that I'm going to use. If I don't like it, I'm going to let them know I don't like it. They, I will, I will put the review that it's not... And, it, you know, just because it, it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's going to work for someone else. But and it's usually like especially beauty. in beauty. Yeah. yeah, that's usually stuff like like the beauty products and vitamins and supplements. That's pretty much all I will review. So um, that's amazing. So I, I just learned a lot from you right now. So now you like what a great idea of wholesaling products from your local community to sell on Amazon. Is it hard? And in, in, in this day and age where a lot of people are trying to get into this space, I feel like. Is it hard to, to maintain a store or being a seller on Amazon currently? So that's a great question. I'll tell you, it's very different from when I started in 2010. Uh, the biggest difference really is a, a lot of people then they would, you could throw any product up there and it would just sell. And now there's so much more you're competing with on Amazon, but also Amazon has higher expectations of its sellers. So you really have to set up your business as a legit business. If you a business license is required where you live, you got to get one. You need to get an LLC. Yep. You got to get a business bank account. Uh, when you buy product, you need invoices that are legitimate invoices showing you about the product. Yeah. So you really just have to have those basics of running the business, number one. And then number two, I think the number, the thing that makes people succeed is really consistency. Yeah, it's consistency and not giving up more than anything else. So many people are like, "Hey, I'm gonna put these products on Amazon. I'm gonna make money." And then when it doesn't go perfectly, they're like, "Eh," and then they'll 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 run at it again, yeah. and then kind of back off and run at it again. the The people I see who are successful, they spend an hour every morning, two hours every morning. They're just they're picking away at it. How can I improve the listing? How can I improve yeah. my photos? How can I do better advertising? You know, is this product not the right product for me? How do I find better things to sell? It's the consistency that makes you win, not not any magic. Yeah, no, I would agree with that. And so I did one product and I remember like you had, well, I have an LLC. So I had to have my LLC and I was selling my skincare serum at the time, which was like, I sold out. It was very popular. Um, I had to have the, like the receipt from the purchase of buying it in the units that I bought it in. And yeah, it was just a whole, it wasn't that difficult to set that up. But what I found was difficult was being able to find the product like on Amazon. So I don't, I don't know if you sponsor like different, your products, but I see different, like if I look for something, you'll see like the sponsored item come up and then you'll find the other ones below it. So how do you make your product stand out from all the other ones? So one of the keys to having your Amazon listing pop is going back to the basics. It's having a great listing detail page. Okay. You would be amazed at even national brands that do not invest time in making their listing detail page perfect. So that's just like the advertising page. It's the okay. page you see when you search a product and you click on it. Um, you need to have all the photos. You can have up to seven photos. And some of those should be lifestyle photos. Yeah. So lifestyle photos. So y'all, this is where people roll their eyes and they're like, I can't believe she said that, but it's true. Lifestyle photos, you need to show your product being used. Mm -hmm. And it's great if you can have dogs, babies, and hot women in the photos. Yeah. Because that is what sells products. Babies, dogs, and hot women. 
because we aspire, if we're women, we aspire to be hot. If we're men, we like looking at hot women. Everyone loves a puppy and babies give you the warm fuzzies. So if you can work that in, all the better. You can have product video now. And you don't have to be some video producer to create a nice video. And if you know someone who's like a teenager in your house, they might make a great video for you yeah. you can upload. And then keywords are super important. Yeah. The, there's bullets at the top of the listing. You need to talk benefits of your product and why people should want to buy the product. And in the back end, you get to put all these keywords about your product that people don't see on the page, but they're part of the SEO, the search engine optimization for Amazon. You load that sucker up with every keyword you can think of that fits your product. Doing those basics gives you a head start against a lot of other sellers who just don't invest the time to make the listing be really valuable. Yeah, no, that's great. And so because you have all this experience, you've written a book. I have, I'm so excited. Tell us so about my, your book. So my book, and I even, I have a copy. Oh, yes. It's pretty. Woo. The Amazon Incubator. Okay. It, yes. The Amazon Incubator, Grow Your Business or Hatch a New One. Okay. Um, and the reason for the name is that I believe Amazon is the greatest small business incubator in history. Okay. There are so many millionaires who started out on Amazon, but more importantly, there are so many people like me who have used Amazon to achieve financial goals for their family, even if they're small goals. So the point of the book is, if you wanna buy a $5,000 course, do it. But first invest 25 bucks in a book that yeah. gives you a step-by-step -step blueprint and explains to you what you need to know to be successful at Amazon. So it starts with how to set up your business, how to set goals, how to decide what kind of seller you want to be. There are different kinds of sellers, different kinds of sourcing. Do you want to ship your own orders or have Amazon ship them for you? All of these decisions, if you kind of think them all through from the beginning, you're going to have a much better path to success on Amazon. I love it. Um, Leslie, where can people find you, connect with you, and purchase the book? So you can go to theamazonincubator.com and there we have links to the book on all the major uh, book sites. So it's at Barnes and Noble and Amazon and all the places. Um, and then for me, uh, you can find me on any social media. I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, all the places. It's L-E-S-L-E-Y-H-E-N-S-E-L-L. -E -E -L -L. And please reach out and connect. I love to have conversations with small businesses, and with entrepreneurs and people who want to get started, if you have a blocker, you just want to brainstorm, I am here for it. Love to hear from you. That's awesome. And like one more question, and then when I want to get your last words of wisdom and advice. Is it too late for someone to start their own small Amazon business? Absolutely not. You are limited only by your imagination and by your ability to find a product that isn't already saturated and if you go to small businesses near you or think about what product you've always wanted to have, uh, you're going to find a winner. It just takes some time. Excellent. You guys, with that being said, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about becoming your own small Amazon business, go click the link below and grab her book. Go reach out to her. She obviously is very lovely and knowledgeable and love to answer any questions and just connect with you. Do not hesitate. Now is the time. It's 2024. So go after it. Leslie, this is the part of the show where I like to ask for last words of wisdom or advice. What would you like to leave with us today? I think the most valuable thing that any of us can acquire is freedom to chase the things in life that we really care about. And that's different for everyone. It could be that Lamborghini. It could also just be more time with your kids or going on a family vacation or retiring a year earlier than you thought you were going to have to. So I would encourage anyone to really sit down and focus on what those goals are and believe they can happen. And whether it's from selling on Amazon or some other side hustle, you can do it. There is still so much opportunity. Don't let other people tell you it's not possible. I love it. It's not possible. No, it is possible. That's right. I love it, Leslie. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I love that this is a topic we've never covered before. And I think it's very valuable for people. I, I mean, I'm going to get your book because I might dip my toe back in there again and and think about starting my Amazon store back up again, because I think it's I love Amazon. 
I love it. I don't love that it's taking a lot of other businesses out of brick and mortar, but I do love that it offers the opportunity to get anything that you want, like, you know, at the touch of a button. So thank you so much. And I'm so happy that you found an outlet or a way to make money to support your family and uh, living life on your own terms. Thank you so much for having me. This has been so much fun. You're welcome. You guys, this is your host, Deanna Radulescu with Label Free Podcast. To live your best life, you must live label free. As always, don't forget to subscribe, follow, rate, review, comment, share, all those good things. And I'll be back soon with more dynamic guests.